Yo, yeah, what's good everybody? In today's video, I'll be giving you guys a quick jewel guide for Super Vibe. Let's get into her passive first. So damaging enemies apply a stack of static. At four stacks, they are fully static charged. Dashing through them with your shift ability, your surge deals massive damage and resets the cooldown of your shift ability. Your autos also apply a stack of static and they are just a decently ranged ability. You can see at four stacks they are static charged then you hold down your shift ability and it resets your shift cooldown and does a lot of damage to them your right click which is your voltaic spear will stun them if they are hit against the wall and knock enemies back so let's respawn that and i'll show you the shift while we wait so holding to charge up and it releases and dashes through an enemy hitting them fully Static charge, like I said, resets your cooldown and does a lot of damage. You want to basically use your shift when they are fully static charged or use it to get away. You don't want to waste it. And your spear, like I said, if you knock them against a wall, it'll stun them for a short duration. Very useful for getting free kills or getting people off of you. Your Q ability basically is like a Tilia knockup. It pulls enemies towards you. And applies a stack of charge it's like a little aoe on the ground so you can combo that like i showed you just then you knock them towards you and spear them while they're in the air and it'll stun them against a wall that's two free static charges if you combo that with a couple of left clicks in the meantime you can just get free static charges at the one auto dash to them reset Last ability is your ultimate. You launch in the air, crash down, and apply the static, and it spreads to nearby enemies as well. So if you static, so if you land on someone, that static will spread to their teammates, and it'll just do massive. Um, but it'll give you massive potential to get shift resets off on the other people as well. So you can ult on top of them while they're flying in the air. You can shift them, right click them. And just get a full combo off and then shift on top of them and they will just basically fall over so that's a quick jewel guide hope you guys found this video useful and i will see you guys in the next one peace